With these hot temps and drought conditions, it's not a matter of if but when a wildfire pops up this summer. So that's why our local fire districts like Fire District 3 here are taking it very seriously because when you have conditions that essentially amount to a tinderbox, even the smallest of sparks can have devastating consequences. Just why you need to be prepared. Thank you. As you can see, and as I learned, there's no flame too small for the firefighters of District 3 to put out, but right now they need more people with the same fiery passion for firefighting. The volunteers are pretty much the backbone of our district. A district with 11 stations that Division Chief of Recruitment Tom Brunke says covers nearly 600 square miles. And in an emergency, when seconds count, getting out to those remote areas is uh, crucial on the volunteers to get out first. But in District 3, the term volunteer isn't exactly accurate. Once they're fully qualified, they are paid hourly. There is money to be made. And they get the t-shirt. <laughs> yes, and a shirt. It's just the time commitment of becoming qualified that turns a lot of potential applicants off. It's a process, probably a year of training. But that doesn't mean you'll be sitting around waiting. They can run calls between that time, just on limited uh, accessibility. With a bad fire season, not just on the horizon, but already here, being shorthanded doesn't mean the 128 volunteers already on staff aren't ready to fight fires this summer. Brunke says they're just looking to stay ahead of the curve and keep their neck of the county safe. We're always looking to keep that progression going to keep the volunteers coming in. And it's an open invitation. We'll take zero experience and we put them through the, all the training. And even if you can't volunteer with your local fire department this summer, there are ways that you can help firefighters like adhering to burn bans, making sure your campfires are drowned out, and never ever throw a lit cigarette out your car window. Window. It's not even lit. You can never be too careful. While living in the district you volunteer with is usually a prerequisite, Brunke says the shortage isn't unique to his district. Countywide, it's an issue. So check with your local fire district because as Brunke says, having some extra hands on deck always helps, always helps. And while it is a commitment, it's also rewarding. It's neighbor helping neighbor. So while there's a lot of perks to volunteering, you get that fire hat, you get that cool fire t-shirt. Most of all, you get to help out your community during fire season. Reporting in Cheney tonight, I'm Corey Howard at Fire. Just for trade fire? KHQ Local News. Just for saying fire?